hello guys welcome back to knitting catalog i'm happy to be in your present here to show you how to knit a dot cap with fisherman rib and how to knit rib without no ribber you know i'm knitting rib one by one with this cap so i'm here with my assistant my apprentice to do this together so right now i've brought out my needles you know for the cap 72 by 72 needle for adult cap so right now i'm going to go into selecting my needle with waist yarn because i'm going to knit rib without no ribber so i'm going to select the needle in one by one and go ahead to knit four rows in waist yarn you know I can you can choose any tension you want for this because it does not matter you just have to do a foundation row of four rows you know like forming a rib on single bed so i'm using color pink to do this just put weight on and i'm going to go ahead to knit four rows of this color in which this is two three rows and the fourth one so right now i'm going to grab another color of yarn if you have a cord in your knitting machine you can use it for this so this color another yarn is not going to have a a wool attached to it or a yarn attached to it is going to be free on its own the hands of the yarn is going to be free this particular one row in sky blue so that's what i need to do if i want to form the rib so you can see that i cut off the ends of the yarn to make it free then remove my carriage back to right position to start the proper knitting right now guys so i'm still going to leave my needle like this and knit four rows so the cap is starting now so i'm going to knit four rows with tension five the rib for the cap is tension five i'm going to use tension five so i'm going to need four rows right now so after the four rows i'm going to pack all the needles together and continue so let's see how the four rows go goes right now so this is row one and two then three then four with tension five is now that tensions matter so right now i'm going to grab the first stitch and hang it up because i want that edge needle to be strong the work at that place to be strong as if it's ribber that is knitting this so at both sides i'm going to do that and right now i'm going to pack all the needle back together and knit 36 rows because the rib is going to be 40 and i've done four rows so i have to complete it 36 row with all the needle working 40 so i mean 72 by 72 needles with tension five knit 36 rows right now So the 40 rows all together from the rib, the milk rib to the up of the work now is 40 rows. So right now I'm going to go into, you know, unravel the stitches right now, you know, losing them down, losing them down carefully, losing them down. Then I'm going to lashes it up to up of the needle again you know so that's knitting rib without no ribber so this is one of the tutorial i said the first one is knitting rib without no ribber so i'm losing it down right now down to the the first four rows in milk color so we are going to get to there and stop 
so you can see that yes that's the first row of the first four rows that i need then i'm going to jump to you know loop and go to the fourth one then i'm going to start to lashes it up you know pick that and you know knit pick the next one and knit so this is the way i'm going to do this right up to the needle top so just be careful pick the right one and lashes it up to the up of the needle so you can see what is going on guys this is how to knit rip one by one without no river I'm going to go ahead and hang it up. You can see, hang it up back. So right now, I'm dropping, I'm jumping one needle and go to the third one. So this is what you will do. You know, after knitting that one, you skip one needle and go to the next needle. So you can see what I'm showing you here right now. So that's the first four rows knitted, the main rows knitted of the cap so right now i'm going to grab the first row and go over the two the two rows in between and go to the fourth row and start to lash it up you know just to repeat and show you how it's been done so you have to pick one after the other and start to lash it it up to the up of the needle uh, and it so this is what is going on here you know knitting rib without no ribber so rib one by one so i have to do this to all the stitches i'm having on this so at times you can decide to knit tail row and you know unravel them and knit because if you feel that maybe the 40 row is too long for you to do to knit up so you can just be doing it bit by bit knit it bit by bit after you unravel and latches it up then you knit another 10 rows but i decide to knit all my 40 rows and do the lashing up so this is what i will do to all the needles so this is the next one that I just finished so i'm going to leave that one and go to the next needle then i'm going to unravel it then let's go over it once again and see how it works so you can just see these four rows the first four rows of the cap in rib so you can just see that four row is so important so that's where the formation of the rib comes starts from i mean so these four rows so let's go over it again and see how it works that first four row so let's go through this once again guys so i'm going to lose this line the next needle on line up right now you know down then you can see the first four rows so i'm picking the first row the first loop then i'm going to pass through the two at the middle and go to the last one then start to knit with my cast off tools so i'm going to pick each loop right now and be knitting them up right to the up of the machine down to the needle so you can see right now going through the loop you know knitting and getting to the needle to hang the 
stitch up right now so this is how to do it guys i'm going to hang it up then go for the next so guys see what we have the rib is ready rib one by one is ready so you can see how it is right now guys so right now i'm going to go into the body of the cap so i'm going to change my tension in into tension eight and need one row so after the one row i'm going to change my tension back to seven and knit 100 rows so i'm going to go ahead and knit 100 rows right now we are now you know knitting for fisherman rigs so that's the body of the cap being knitted right now guys so i'm going to do same you know so to knit fisherman rib so 100 row is completed right now another time i said you can decide to be knitting it little by little rows and be lashing it up by knitting it up so right now i'm going to remove the weight out of this work to start to you know go into the fisherman rib proper so i'm going to start from the middle for camera to pick it up so that's the rib one by one part so right now i'm going to start to unravel the stitch right now you know it will still be one by one the fisherman rib is one by one right now guys so knitting it right now i'm really going to lose this down from one to hundred is so long guys but i just want to face it once and for all so i don't want to be knitting 10 rows or 20 rows then start to latch it up unravel and latch it up so i decide to do this once and for all so it's really taking time it's really taking time but the design worth it but if you have a river it's a simple thing to knit with river so it's a request by one of my followers so i have to do this for her so i'm going to lose it up down down to the first row not that row that i knitted with eight tension eight not that particular row that i knitted with tension it is starting from the first row so i have to lose and lose again to that the first row that is number one row then i'm going to insert my you can see that's the first row the next the the first row that's it so i'm going to put the cast off tools and jump one then go to the number three loop and knit it up that's the i'm not going to touch that i'm going to jump that and go to this yes i'm going to go to this one and knit it up so that's what is fisherman rib leaving one and go to the next one and latch it up like so you can see how it's been done guys so i'm going to do it separately for you to really see what is going on so leaving one loop i'm going to the up the next one and you know knit it up so that's fisherman rib In, meanwhile the first one we did that is rib one by one we did not jump anyone we did not gap anyone we just all the loop is being knitted up but this fisherman rib you have to leave one and go to the next one to knit it up so so guys i'm going to do this to all the stitches to form this by leaving one needle and go to the next one just like the rib one by one we 
treated first. So I'm going to go and do this far away to the 100 rows and to the 72 by 72 needles. So you have to be careful. Make sure you pick the right loop. You know, just make sure you pick the right loop. And if you are a little bit tired, you can just have rest. It must not be done in a day if you have the time. You know, it's a passion. So it's what you have passion for. You just have to, you know, find time and do it. If you are tired doing this, maybe because of the rules and the needle involved, you can just take a rest and, you know, find time to do it properly. So I'm hanging this right now and go to the third needle yes that's the third needle and drop it on unravel this down to the number one stitch from the down then i start to lash it it up again so that's just it how to knit fisherman rib so let's see when it gets to down how is the picking up of the loop is going to be once again So guys, be careful, wash out. The first row that we need with tension heat will be very big for you to see that this is the last, the first tension, the first, first row that you needed with tension heat, then the next one. So you can see what is going on. Picking, you know, jumping one and pick the next one. So you just have to do this throughout this, you know, and... You know, latch it, it up to the up and hang it, then go to the next one. So, just have to be calm and, you know, follow it up. So, you can see the last two, then you pick the last one. Then you have to remain the last one you will pick, then hang it on. Then that's how it is. That's how it is. So just continue to drop the next one. Make sure you get the right needle to drop. Then you drop on Ravel and, you know, knit it up as fisherman rib. So guys, that's what we have. You can see how it is. So the down part of it right now, I'm going to draw the sky blue yarn out. You know, because of the stress of packing it up, the pink yarn have already loose. So I'm going to drag it out. That's the work that the cord always do for you if you have cord in your knitting machine. So lose it up and the pink yarn fall off of the work so going to go ahead to the other side of it and remove the pink yarn you know that's why the sky blue yarn have to have no ends so it's for you to drag it out so i'm going to change my tension to 10 and i'm going to knit two rows in loose you know tension and the yarn is going to be very loose you know make sure the yarn you supply the yarn enough to be very loose to knit this last two rows in tension 10 just to bind off i must confess it's not easy to knit this fisherman rib pattern you know on main page so that's why i involve my apprentice in this so that you know 
but it's because of the passion you have you like to try some design out so pretty so fluffy so fine i really love this pattern so there's no regret at all or no time wasted so right so i'm casting off right now guys so i just cast off that stitch the first one then i have one stitch on my tuesday so i'm picking the second one that's the third one the fourth one the fifth one so i'm having five stitches there so i'm picking the sixth one to cast all of them off so you can see i'm casting five stitches off with one stitch so i'm going to cast off that one stitch normally then i, I have one in the twos so i'm going to pick one that is the third one the fourth one and the fifth one then i'm going to use this sixth one to cast them off all so you can see i have one already then cast them cast that one off just like that just to make sure i have a curve edge of the top of the cap that's why i'm doing this so that it will form that brown shape of the top of the cap for me it won't just be straight so that's it so i have one already there then i pick one two that is four five I have five there then cast it off so that's how it is so i'm going to cast this off normally then i have one stitch there one that is three four five i'm fast so that's it guys just make sure you cast one out then the remaining four stitches will be in your tools and you use the last one to bind them off or cast it off so let's see what we have at the end of this casting off. So that's it guys. So the cast off is complete right now so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave enough yarn you know the tail of my yarn is going to be long enough for me to use to sew this cap so that's it that's why i'm having enough yarn along with the cap so i'm going to use it to sew the project so that's it so guys you can see the effect of the cast off on the tip of the cap right now so i'm going to sew the side seam down then gather the top of the cap and i'm going to attach pom pom onto the top of the cap so guys this is lovely